Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by electronegativity. You should then be able to describe the factors that affect the electronegativity of an element. I'm showing you here the hydrogen molecule H2 and the chlorine molecule Cl2. And I should just point out that this diagram is not to scale. I'm showing the pair of electrons in the covalent bond as red. Now looking at these two molecules, we can see that the pair of electrons in the covalent bond lie exactly midway between the two nuclei. I'm showing you here the molecule hydrogen chloride. As you can see in this molecule, the electrons in the covalent bond are much closer to the chlorine nucleus than the hydrogen nucleus. That's because chlorine atoms are more electronegative than hydrogen atoms. I'm showing you the definition of electronegativity here, and it's important that you learn this definition. Electronegativity is the ability of an atom to attract the pair of electrons in a covalent bond. And as we saw before, chlorine is more electronegative than hydrogen. Now going back to our first diagram, in the hydrogen molecule, both atoms on either side of the covalent bond are hydrogen. Both of these hydrogen atoms have the same electronegativity. So the pair of electrons in the covalent bond are equally attracted to the two hydrogen nuclei. We can see the same with the chlorine molecule. Because both atoms on either side of the covalent bond are chlorine, the pair of electrons in the covalent bond are equally attracted to the two nuclei. However, in the case of hydrogen chloride, the chlorine atom is more electronegative than the hydrogen atom. So this means that the electron pair in the covalent bond are closer to the chlorine nucleus. I'm showing you here the electronegativities of the elements in periods 1, 2 and 3. The noble gases are not included as they're not reactive. And I should point out that you don't need to learn these numbers. This is based on the Pauling electronegativity scale, with 4 being the most electronegative. As you can see, electronegativity increases as we approach the top right of the periodic table. The most electronegative elements are fluorine, oxygen, nitrogen and chlorine. Remember that electronegativity is the ability of an atom to attract the pair of electrons in a covalent bond. And this is based on the attraction between the electron pair and the nucleus of the atom in question. Electronegativity depends on three factors. The first factor is the size of the positive charge on the nucleus. Moving left to right across a period, the number of protons in the nucleus increases. This increased positive charge increases the attraction between the nucleus and the pair of electrons in the covalent bond. So elements on the right of the periodic table are more electronegative than those on the left. The second factor is the atomic radius. The smaller the atomic radius, the closer the bonding electrons will be to the nucleus of an atom. As we move left to right across a period, atomic radius decreases. And again, this means that elements on the right of the periodic table are more electronegative than those on the left. The third factor is shielding of the nucleus by electrons in inner shells. I'm showing you here the electron shells of fluorine and chlorine. As you can see, chlorine has one more inner electron shell than fluorine. Electrons in the inner shells screen electrons in the outer shell from the positive charge of the nucleus. So because of this, the greater number of inner shells, the lower the electronegativity. This means that chlorine has a lower electronegativity than fluorine. In the next video, we're going to look at polar bonds and polar molecules.